Hello my great super 3. You welcome to another interesting topic as usual in practical life. Today is going to be fun all the way as you will be learning and enjoying yourself too. Today's topic is very educating, it's informative and as well entertaining. Okay, and it is also a practical topic as usual. So today you will be learning about the uses of temporary and permanent stitches. Temporary and permanent stitches, what they are used for. Okay. You will also be learning about the decorative stitches as you will be seeing pictures of some examples of decorative stitches. But let me quickly refresh your memory on what the temporary and permanent stitches are. Do not forget that in the last lesson we said that temporary stitches are used to hold pieces of cloth in position while permanent stitches are made. Then the permanent stitches are left on the articles after work is completed. Okay, so the temporary stitches are used to hold pieces of clothes in position, but the permanent stitches are left on the articles after they are completed. So the permanent stitches are the major stitches which are used in clothing constructions. Okay, let's look at the first question, the uses of temporary stitches. What are temporary stitches used for? Number one is that the temporary stitches are used to hold pieces of clothes in position just as the definition is that I earlier said. So here it is written that the temporary stitches is used to hold pieces of cloth in position. So while we are working on a particular material, the temporary stitches helps to hold pieces of clothes in position. Number two uses of the temporary stitches is that it's part of the sewing process. It is a part of the sewing process which aids the making of the permanent stitches. Having known the uses of the temporary stitches, what is the uses of the permanent stitches? So you will be learning the uses of the permanent stitches and do not forget that the permanent stitches are left on the article after they are completed. So the first uses of the, temp the permanent stitches is that it is used in holding pieces of cloth firmly together. It is used in holding pieces of cloth firmly together. Okay, so the second use is of the permanent stitches. It is for knitting raw edges of clothes or holding down a to fold a particular pattern of cloth. So for knitting raw edges of clothes or holding down a fold of cloth. Okay, so these are basically the uses of the permanent stitches. Now, what is decorative stitches? What is decorative stitches? Decorative stitches make the article beautiful. So it is the decorative stitches that brings the beauty out from that particular piece of work. So decorative stitches make the article beautiful and are made with colored threads. They are made with color threads which are different from the color of the garment. So do not forget that decorative stitches make the articles beautiful just as the name is decorative stitches. It makes the article beautiful and it is made with colored threads. Okay? 
So let's learn some examples of decorative stitches. The first one here is the stem stitches. The stem stitches, that's the first one. So the stem stitches is the first example of the decorative stitches. The second example of the decorative stitches is the chain stitches. The chain stitches. Okay. So the third here example of the decorative stitches is the hairy bone stitches. The hairy bone stitches. All of these stitches are all examples of decorative stitches. They help to make the clothes look beautiful. The fourth example of decorative stitches is the satin stitches. The satin stitches. Okay. These also help to make our clothes look beautiful. Okay, the whipped running stitches. The whipped running stitches is the fifth example of the decorative stitches. Okay, have known the definition, the uses of the permanent and temporary stitches? Have known the meaning and the uses of the decorative stitches? And you've seen some examples of decorative stitches. The decorative stitches is made with colored thread. which is often different from the color of the garments. So bye, see you in our next lesson.